Orange County leaders think new regulations are needed to deal with all of the game rooms that have popped up there. A good Friday evening, Southeast Texas. As you know, Texas lawmakers have not passed any legislation to allow gambling. So instead, a lot of people head to game rooms. Orange County officials say they're overflowing with illegal activity and are in great need of regulation. Cameron Seibert joins us tonight with a look at their plans. Yeah, Days Jordan on Tuesday, Orange County held a public forum workshop. People packed the courthouse to express their concerns about these game rooms and the kind of activity that they're bringing in. It's these tinted establishments. It's not only the game room, it's what the game room brings in. That are causing a stir in the Orange community. People are very, very concerned. Commissioner Teresa Beecham says they serve as an alternative to gambling in Texas. Game rooms aren't supposed to give out cash prizes, but Judge John Gauthier says most rooms aren't following the rules. You know, a lot of these game rooms find places that they can operate where there's not restrictions, you know, uh, and we've just had a lot of them that have opened up in, in some of the areas of our county. Now, Orange County is following suit with others in the region, imposing a tax on each machine, mandating restricted hours of operations, as well as uncovered windows and unlocked doors for regular check-ins. Jefferson County officials say they've seen a positive shift since implementing restrictions. The last I heard, we were down just to four game rooms, mm -hmm. which, you know, we had 40 for a while. Orange County Constable Matt Ortego says it's become a top priority. And the top three. Top three. Mm -hmm. Because you're attracting criminals here. You are attracting criminals here. Like I told you, you're, you fl they, Jefferson County more or less flushed because of their strict rules they had. and they, they, These owners did not want to abide by those rules. So they're like, well, we'll just shut down and we'll go to the next place. Ortego says officials aren't against game rooms, but the issues that come with them are a cause for concern. We're trying to pave a safer way for our youth in this, in this community. And we're not doing that with them bringing in um, narcotics and having prostitution. Gauthier agrees and says it's time to make changes for the betterment of the community. The citizens brought it to our attention that more and more of this is opening up, and so you know we're going to put the regulations in place that if they want to open up, they, ha they can, but they have to operate a certain way. The Jefferson County DA says since they've implemented new regulations, the number of game rooms has dropped by about 90%. Orange County doesn't yet have a timeline for when their new restrictions could take effect. In studio, Cameron Seibert, 12 News.